Hello everyone, we're back again for another informative video. This time, we'll talk about Asteroidia, or what we commonly know as starfishes or sea stars. In this video, we'll also get to be acquainted by its parts and function. So what is Asteroidia? In biology, Asteroidia is a class of echinoderms comprising the starfishes, all being unattached, having a star-shaped or pentagonal body and its rays or arms by the strong five in number. Asteroidia comes in a variety of body types. Just a fun fact before we directly jump into encountering the two samples we have found, sea stars can completely regenerate as long as they have one fifth of the central disc and one arm. This means that starfishes do not easily die. Also, they have one eye spot at the end of each arm. So now, we are ready to know what are the samples we have for today. First sample species is the Asterias 4bc, or known to be the fourth sea star. In our locality, all sea stars are generally named as stars. Fourth sea star is tan brown with patches of yellow. Like all sea stars, Asterias 4bc have spiny skin covering their skeleton that's giving them a projection of rough feel. They feed on viable mollusks and other marine invertebrates and frequently found in fair depth water and can also be found in shallow water in a particular time of the day. Now we go to the second sample, the proto eastern Nodosus, or in English name, horned sea star or chocolate chipped sea star. Their coloration ranges from ivory and pale shades of yellow and pink to red brown, with the dark pointed projections arranged regularly along the arms and central disc. These dark protrusions are used to scare away possible predators by looking frightening or dangerous. They also are scavengers. Horned sea stars prefer sheltered, sandy, or slightly muddy bottoms that make them easy to be found in shallow waters. After identifying the two samples, let's go name the parts and corresponding functions of a sea star. We will be first looking at the aberrant surface of a sea star. The first part is what we call the central disc. The next thing is the madriporite. Sea stars have also five rays or arms. Here is the eye spot. And the last part is the spine. Now we go to its oral surface. The first part of the oral surface is the mouth. We also have the oral spines. The line that we can see here is what we call the umbilical groove. And lastly are the star's tube feet. 